I'm Kelly Rossi and I'm a social media addict. In fact, the 15,000 people on Twitter following me probably think I have a major problem. However, many people have hit me up and asked me how to do Twitter and so I thought I'd make you a little video to show you a little bit about how to get started on Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have your Twitter account set up. It's a really easy process and it's very self-explanatory. If you go onto twitter.com, fill out your name, email, password, and it'll walk you through the steps. I've gone ahead and created a little account on Twitter called Today's Rockstar to kind of show you some things on here. So I'll take you on to the computer, I'll show you how it's done. So Twitter, once you get logged in for your first time, is an interface to find followers, follow people, and express yourself in 140 characters or less, and have people follow your day-to-day -day, day -day life, what you're doing, and what you have going on on Twitter. So when you first log in, you can search anything under the sun to follow on Twitter. Any major publications, your favorite celebrities, your favorite rock stars, your next door neighbor, and yes, a lot of people like to stalk their exes. Okay, as you'll see on the home page, this is all of the Twitter f people that you are following. So you're gonna see a collection real time of what people that you're following are tweeting out. When you click over to the connect tab, that is everything that is happening with your account and how you are interacting with other people. You will see people who are talking directly to you, the people who are retweeting you, and you'll see the people who are favoriting your tweets. When you click into the Discover tab, this is where you can see the most popular things that are going on on Twitter currently. Twitter basically will take the most popular things that people are talking about and the most popular words that are being used. I'm sure you've heard of the word trending. In addition to this Discover area on the site, you'll notice on the left-hand side of your page, you will have a trending area. And these are the top things that are coming up in tweets throughout every user on Twitter real time. Okay, along with trending topics, you are going to see the pound symbol right before a word all over the place. So what this is, is a hashtag. And what Twitter does with these hashtags is it automatically recognizes that word that has a pound in front of it as a collection that needs to be linked to every other tweet within Twitter that has that same hashtag. So you can do hashtag Da Vinci, and it'll link to every other Da Vinci that is being mentioned, and you can click on it, and it'll show you, hey, this is what's going on, this is what people are talking about Da Vinci right now. So, getting into that, I'm gonna answer a question from one of my viewers. Miss Hillary Gibbons asked me, how do you know what are valid hashtags? Is there a list of them? How do you know it's an active hashtag? Pretty much everything's an active hashtag, so you can even do hashtag 6-4 if you want to. I know a lot of people would do hashtag 64 plus five, but that's their own preference. So you can really choose whatever you want. To find the popular ones, that's another story. Some of the tools that I use are hashtags.org, where you can go on and you can look up any hashtag that's going on and check the frequency of the use. And let's use the two terms, skateboarder and skateboarding. If you go on to hashtag.org, you plug in each of those, you'll find the frequency of use on Twitter of those two hashtags. So let's say one is being used uh, you know, every five seconds and the other one is being used every 10 minutes. Obviously, the one that's five seconds is a little bit more popular. Some of the other tools you can use for popularity of hashtags are wthashtag.com, where you can go on and people are defining what the hashtags are that are being used. Then trendspotter.com, which is more of a real-time tool, but it will show what is going on based on topics like sports. Hey, this, this is the popular trending that's going on right now in sports. This is the popular trending that's going on in celebrities and whatnot. Go from there. All right, next question from LOL WTF Chris. Uh, he asked me how to retweet, how to DM. I'm gonna expand this into how to retweet reply, DM, list, and favorite. So these are the interactions that you can do with people on Twitter. The replying is basically, if you wanna to talk to somebody on Twitter and you want it to be public, that hey, I'm talking to Brad Pitt, <laughs> yeah, that's me, I'm talking to Brad Pitt, um, then you can say, you know, at 
Brad Pitt and it will tweet to him. He will see it on his connect area. Uh, you know, because he's a lot of times he's waiting for tweets from me. Uh, the reply is a direct public conversation with another person on Twitter. The direct messaging is a private conversation with somebody on Twitter where you can go to their profile and message them. It will show up in their private message box. No one else will see this and you guys can talk to each other and do whatever you want there. Let's say somebody says something awesome and does an awesome tweet. I want to share it with all my followers. So what I'm going to do is retweet. Listing your favorite people. If you want to follow a large uh, group of people, but everybody is across the board. You have got sports people over here. You've got uh, your artists over here. You've got your business and entrepreneurs over here. And then you've got you know people who don't make any sense on Twitter, but you know you have to follow them because everybody else is. So you can list them and section them out into lists. Then when you click on your list, you can go in and see what that specific group is is talking about. And it's a way to organize your uh, the people that you're following on Twitter. Favoriting. If you, it's simply what it says. If you're following someone on Twitter and you really like what they say, uh, you can click it and favorite it. So. If people are interacting in this way with you and your account, it'll flow, show up in the connect area of your of your Twitter page. This is an awesome question from Nightwolf9504. How do you keep your account safe from hackers? Okay, there is a major thing going on on Twitter and it's in the uh, direct messages inboxes. Hey, did you see what you were doing in this video? And Pretty much everybody is clicking on it like, oh my god, I must be in this video. You're not in the video. You're not. That's, there's no video of you. You're clicking on what is a phishing link and it will probably invade your account. Your account will be compromised. Just make sure you're following safe links. Make sure there's always a complete URL. There are a few tools that you can use online to copy your link and paste it and see if it is actually a legitimate URL before clicking on it and screwing up your either your computer or your account. So if you are infected by any of these, make sure you go in and change your password immediately. This is Darren in Vegas asks, where do you find quality people on Twitter to follow? Uh, again, if you can follow anybody, you search them and follow them, but quite honestly, you can search any term in Twitter that you're interested in. Let's say, Darren, you're interested in Las Vegas real estate. You can type in Las Vegas real estate and on the left hand side of Twitter, there will be an area for tweets and that is the most popular and the most current tweets that are showing up for Las Vegas real estate. But underneath that, there's an area and it is for people. Click on that people tab and it'll show the people who are the most active or the peop that Twitter itself has deemed the most influential in these areas. Another tool I use is Clout. Clout measures your social media influence across every social media network that there is out there. Minus Pinterest right now, Clout get on it seriously. But Clout is a great tool to find other users because they will take your profile and analyze it through all your social media accounts and they will find topics that you are constantly talking about. They will deem you influential in each individual topic that they list on your page. So if you were to go onto Clout and type in Las Vegas real estate, you will find that uh, Clout will give you a whole list of people that it has deemed worthy of this topic and that other people who are influenced by those individuals have given them props or clout even to uh, move up the move up the ranks on those particular topics. So, clout.com, do it. Give me some clout in Vegas, social media or marketing. I'm totally cool with that. Kev me up asks, how do you keep your Twitter active without tweeting about breathing? So many people tweet about stupid, stupid stuff. So, how do you find content that you want to share? You know, go back to your own interests. Now, I'm a web developer. I do social media, love Vegas, uh, photography, I like Malamutes, uh, Nerds Candy, uh, you know. Those. Share on your expertise. Find articles. Pictures are always, are always fun. You can retweet, obviously, from other people who are influential. I always use humor as much as I can. 
Sometimes I think I'm funny, other people don't, but you know, whatever, I don't care. A, a lot of people will intertwine their other accounts, their Foursquare, their YouTube, their Facebook, their Pinterest accounts. I am notorious for Pinterest. I go on Pinterest and I find something awesome. Usually it has to do with really cute cakes or, or Star Wars, something totally dorky. It'll show up on Twitter because I share it with all my Twitter followers. So. Same concept across YouTube and all the other social media networks, so try that. Yes, there is one other question by Emperor365. How do you remember your hotel room when you're in Las Vegas? Okay, I think that's a question for another time, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Alright, I think that's pretty much uh, the gist of getting started on Twitter, so get on there, tweet at me, Miss Rossi. Have fun, retweet. Create a couple hashtags or follow some that are out there. Ask me any questions you need to. At any time, you can go and follow Social Magnitude.